you doing? I'm trying to... <laughs> there, now I'm in your face. Okay. I do still have the orange and red lily to do, and I will do it, but tonight... <laughs> I told my husband, I said, I need to sculpt something for Halloween. Because I like to sculpt some things for Halloween. He said, well, why don't you do a goblin? So I looked up a goblin because there's a lot of different ways for him to look. And I picked one that is just, just ugly. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. It's just ugly, which a goblin is supposed to be. Big, green, and ugly. Well, I'm not going to make it huge, but... So, he's got big ears coming out from... And he's got a very big mouth. Deep, deep set eyes. <laughs> you getting the picture a little bit? I'm sure he's got that poofy belly with the belly button and huge feet. So... I'm going to start with trying to make the body first. And for pretty much for this, I'm going to start with foil for the armature. This would just more or less be the breast and belly area, or chest and belly area. Maybe the boot. Maybe the boot. I'm going to put a little bit more bulk around this part down here. This will be the... Big belly and the butt. Not on the foil, but once I get there. <laughs> once I get... Okay, I'm not exactly forming it. So maybe I'll give it a shot. I want this more like this so that... Okay, that would be part of the neck. And I'll use a toothpick for that. Okay. And I'll attach the legs later. That's going to make him a little tall. Okay. So. <laughs> what do you all do for Halloween? I mean, Joe and I are kind of getting to the age where we really don't well, we just kind of put out stuff like I'm doing for this. And I'll just add to it every year a little bit. But we don't really have... Well, we get a lot of trick-or-treaters. But we don't have any trick-or-treaters to send out anymore. And let me tell you a story on my husband. <laughs> he always loved Halloween. Because... He could get the kids to get more candy so he could have some. <laughs> he just really enjoyed it. This is kind of my Halloween thing. And we do like all the kids that come. You get to see them in their costumes. Some of them are pretty spooky. I doubt that I'll get much more than some sculpting done tonight. I, well, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and try to get this, well, maybe if I put it on here first, I'll get it to smooth out. It's gonna be a big belly. His big, big belly.
<clears throat> sometimes it can take me with, you know, more complex things like this. It can take me, I don't know, two or three nights or more. Because there's the sculpting and the baking and the, all the different parts. There's a belly if I ever saw one. A big fat belly. May have to dig into some of that other clay. I am using a lot of clay on this, but that's okay. For this one, I really did not want to go for the crack. What was I going to say? I don't remember. That's just me. I just don't remember. recording right yes I do I don't know why I doubt myself on that <laughs> that's where the legs will be attached this is his backside never seen a goblin dressed yet so doesn't mean that, <laughs> that they don't have some green clothing disguised by their green appearance but we'll just have this a naked goblin without without anatomically correct parts I don't want to do that I wouldn't do that I'd get in trouble if I did but I wouldn't do it See, I got tools. Okay. Huh. See are the big ones. Oh well I don't need it real big. Okay. There. Now he has his gluteus. His glutes. Oh, I was telling you about Joe and his thing with the kids on Halloween. He liked to take him trick or treat a lot of the time because he wanted to take him to places where he knew they would get candy, <laughs> get good candy. But then he'd come back kind of disappointed because when he went around as a kid, he'd take a pillowcase. <laughs> He probably took a something else and then dumped it into the pillowcase. But he would come home with a pretty much half full or full pillowcase. But, you know, things <laughs> prices changed, so treats got smaller. But he still enjoyed sharing sharing their treats with them. Actually, a lot of the time, he would go out after Halloween was over, he'd go to the stores, and he would, <laughs> he still does, he would fill it up with Halloween candy <laughs> that was marked down. And 
And of course, none of us did any cheating with that. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, if I didn't convince you with that, I'm not surprised. <laughs> we helped. And of course, the kids did get their candy. But there were those years where we had to had to check their candy before they could have any. That was always so. They even actually had some stations set up down on Main Street, or we don't call it Main Street, it's 7th Street, but it's, I don't know if that was even necessary, it's not doing anything. Well, there we have, we have a goblin belly and a goblin bottom and a goblin chest. We've got everything but the rest of the goblin. <laughs> so I'm going to quit with this part tonight. I'm going to wrap it up. I think he's going to look cool. <laughs> Just going to wrap him up to keep him nice and keeping out of the air and I'm gonna put these in this body in this body so well I'm just gonna leave it out here we're gonna work with it next time which will be which will be Monday Monday's really not that far away. I mean, it is Friday, so you'll see this Saturday. And so then Monday it'll be up. Or be up. Monday we'll work on it again. So, we'll see you on Monday. I love all of you. Take care of yourselves. And be sure to smile and wave at somebody. You'd never know just how much that might lift somebody